Welcome to another episode, the 15th episode of 21 Indigenous Herbal Plants in 21 Days of the Extended Lockdown, um, which we've learned yesterday. And today we're profiling Combrotum erythrophyllum. And it's called Umdubu in Isikosa and Umshasha umhlalavane in in in, in isizulu and it's tree number 536 this is a medium to large um a tree that you can find from the north parts of the country uh, down to the eastern cape kzn all that side in the coast it loves being in and around an area that has got nice groundwater near rivers you can actually find a lot of it in the orange river belt so there's quite a lot um that this tree can offer in terms of being a landscaping uh, a tree it's nice and it grows quite fast it, it can grow in the margins of three to five meters within four three years or so so if it's well taken care of and you're pruning it right so you're going to get quite a lot of growth from it and this one is actually uh, our um, our, our 20 liter ones which are well about three meters and we've had them for about two and a half years or so so actually much less than that uh, i think it's two years so this is a great tree for 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 a landscaping environment for a house and uh, it's got beautiful uh, uh, leaves that are uh, yellowish uh, and reddish it, it, they tend with um with, with time they look like at, at times they look like they they in autumn so it's quite a very versatile uh, a tree that has got quite a lot of um herbal uh, uh, advantages to it that we're going to be talking about when we are on the other side on the other side of uh, the nursery where we i mean actually in the middle of quite a lot of the smaller versions of the the river bush willow the combratum so the big part about this beautiful tree that makes it uh, a good tree is that it's uh, it's, its roots are very herbal for many many other reasons uh, and they use most especially in traditional medicine for diseases that are of uh, that are sexually transmitted so there's a lot of uh, sti medicine that is actually derived from the roots of this medicine including a laxative that uh, can be mixed up so that people can heal from sexually transmitted diseases and it's it's it's, it's a highly sought out after tree and it's very important that we educate our herbalists and our healers to to get these uh, roots from trees sustainably so that they don't kill them and uh, when we talk of herbal plants and herbal trees we also want to get that message out that let's not kill our trees or let's not chop down our trees but let's uh, harvest our medicine sustainably and there's uh, quite a lot of other uses that you can uh, use from the roots the roots can also be uh, a dye can be extracted from the roots um, and there's also gum in the tree that can be used for various reasons uh, it's a beautiful beautiful tree an all-round tree to use in the household um, that houses animals that houses um, bed life and it's one of those species that i also personally enjoy to grow because it grows quite easily from from the seed uh, from the seeds so all these seedlings here have come from seed not cutting so they all from 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 seeds and just mind that uh, uh, the fruits are very poisonous um, so you must tread carefully with that and it also is a, a, a good plant for for, for stock uh, for for animals cows and sheep uh, there's quite a variety of medicine that is um, derived from the from the tree for for such uses of cattle and stock um, in, in, in stock farming I hope you have enjoyed today and um, let's uh, keep strong in the lockdown and um, wishing you well and even in the extension let's continue being positive and have hope see you on the next one